Mr. Macaroni has been arrested in Lekki Gate over peaceful protests. Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. If you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, leave a comment below, I subscribe. Thank you for watching. We've been arrested though. These are we. We all invite Black Maria now. About over 10 of us. We are inside their Black Maria station at the toll gate now. Hold on, please. This is not clear, guys. This is Kamila Yapinola. Yes, hold on, please. Go Facebook or go to Twitter, wise man. That's his name. On Twitter. Please, I'm currently, I'm currently in police detention. Please. I'm at the Lekki Toll Gate, actually. I'm at the Lekki Toll Gate, um, inside the Black Maria. I had to switch on the location, now I don't know. We are at uh, Alamsa together now. Yeah, uh, Alamsa. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know the face actually. And I was one of the guys that were yeah, there. I saw the show. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm used to these guys. That day was even brutal. Those guys bust. Yes, they were still putting tear gas, pepper spray, directly into our eyes. Direct contact, you are guys, you talk about that. I am here to solidarize with fellow young people who we have been organizing this protest together. And upon getting here, people have been arrested. And I came down here to observe what is going on until when two men approached me and were asking me who I was, if I was a journalist or. At first, I told them that I, I came here as an observer and they were asking for my ID card. I tried not to give them my ID card and they bundled me and started to harass me. And I told them that I'm not going to lose my right to protest, even if you jail me, I will still speak. Because it, might, it is my fundamental human right. It, it, it is my human right. I have the right to speak. Picked up for no reason. I was just standing there. No interviews, nobody talked to nobody, me. They, they, I was only apprehended while walking on the street. And I, I'm here in a black Maria. I don't know what happened. Okay, Christopher, where do you say you work exactly? You say? Where do you work? I work with Dotum Construction Limited. Why were you picked up this morning? Because I was just working. Okay. Yes. Because I was just working. Your name again? Christopher Emmanuel Boji. Picked up because I was working in my country. People died. Whether it was one, whether it was two, we have a duty to establish that. At the end of the day, the Nigerian army acted in that place and it has refused to submit to the jurisdiction of the same panel that is now ordering that that toll gate be reopened. So at the end of the day, what justice has been given to the victims, whether the dead or the injured or those who are merely traumatized emotionally by their presence there, what has been done for them? Okay, so let the me panel come in on that question. Let me seem to be answering it. Um, with reference to the ruling, 
by the uh, Supreme Court or the Federal High Court in Abuja that the CBN unfreeze the accounts of uh, the NSAS protesters. Would that not seem to be at least a step in the right direction? See, if an act was never meant to have been done in the first place, and it was done, when it is undone, yeah, we acknowledge the fact that a wrong deed has been undone, but it does not change the fact that it was never meant to have been done in the first place. It is dirty to the hearing that in a democracy, patently fascist tactics are constantly employed by the state in seeking to put down the grievances of the people. I was trying to make a point, and it is important that this point be made. Every time there has been an attempt at protesting at Lekki Toll Gate, there has always been organized resistance by the state, combining the use of thugs and the Nigerian police to break those protests. The first time that it came to national attention was merely the 20th of October because the army was involved this time around. This one that a protest has again been called for Saturday and there are threats of violence, note that the threats of violence have come exclusively from those who are organizing the counter-protest. I say without equivocation, the counter-protest has all the fingerprints of the Lagos state government and we believe that if anything should happen to a single person in that place, we know who to face.